Hello, everybody. Hello. It's quarantine day 13. Yeah. And we're just doing uh, one video today, just kind of a single video, uh, neither morning nor evening. Uh, we had a little girl who had a bit of trouble sleeping, so... Uh, yeah, she it took over two hours to get her down for a nap, which is not typical, and yeah. she's getting more teeth, yeah. so... Just, just a minor disruption to our day, but yeah. no big deal. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Other than that, things are going well. I'm um, starting to get some seed potting soil together. Uh, starting to kind of put um, just some house projects together. Cooking. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we were kind of talking earlier before we started doing this video was how the aspects of the mundane have affected us depending on where we're at in our lives. Mm -hmm. So we were reminiscing a little bit about when we first met. Um, so that would have been in 2012. I was 23 and Eric was 25. Mm -hmm. uh, so since then, life has happened. We had a very... How would we quarantine back then? That would have been so lame. It would have been really hard. Oh. Yeah, so much <laughs> of our lives when we were in our 20s really was surrounded around our friends. And that, that is still a part of us, most, I mean, most certainly. But having a child and career tracks uh, have really amounted to us being more or less homebodies mm -hmm. and kind of these version 2.0s of ourselves where we've had we, our our hobbies have been very much home based and mm -hmm. often cheap or free mm -hmm. so in many ways this hasn't been a huge disruption to our lives as no. much as it would be uh if it were i don't know like 2014 when we got married right and yeah and and so much with yeah the child you know just we have to be home when we have a young child so uh, I guess the main thing is just we can't get a babysitter. She hasn't gotten to see grandmas quite as much. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it's it's uh, it's tough to say, like you know, that we've completely had a radical transformation of our life. I mm -hmm. don't think that's really been the case. Um, working from home every day mm -hmm. that is different for both of us. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I can definitely see other parts of our life where this would be so much more difficult. Yeah. Um, yeah. It would have been fine. You know, I, you know, for a season I had uh, my time with my roommates. Uh, before then I lived alone for five years. Mm -hmm. um, but just how how meaningful and still again to emphasize like my friends uh very very much mean a lot to me but that transition and that peace that i do have just being okay with with the mundane aspects of life is fine um and and to be celebrated so mm -hmm. i guess kind of like when i when i get stuck uh, I do, you know, I'll do video chats with, with my friends and whatnot, and mm -hmm. it's okay. It's okay to be bored. It's okay to not have anything meaningful to talk about. Um, you know, <laughs> well, it's okay to <laughs> just, you know, just embrace and, and be okay with, with where you're at, but yeah. it all will amount to something, I think, even more exciting that when... Um, when the quarantine is over and we're able to to get out and do this or that it might be kind of an explosion and it might be overwhelming that there will yeah. be so much so many things to be had like you right. can go out you can hug people you can you know go and uh, resume life as it once was mm -hmm. um but until then be bored let that be okay, and just celebrate with, with what you have. All right. There we All go. Right. That's our video for today. Yeah, bye. All right. Bye.